My name is Ronald V. Norris, MD, and I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. Dr. John Baird in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm Shelley Roby from Elizabethtown, Kentucky. I'm Dr. Rob Ward. I'm a family practitioner. Gary Samuelson. I'm an atomic physicist. My name's Dave Carpenter. I'm a naturopathic medical doctor. Our cells age with us, and uh, part of the disease process is actually that your cells get damaged. As we age, the healing process becomes a little bit more slow, less efficient. We have to find a way to have those cells rejuvenated. In our cells, we all have mitochondria. What the mitochondria do, that is the energy generating factory in our cell. As part of that process, there are molecules that are produced as byproducts, and these molecules are called reactive oxygen species and these are molecules that make up the redox signaling system. What's important is that they be balanced and depending upon our health circumstance we can produce more or less of those uh, molecules and when they're not balanced these become dangerous to the cell. They produce these little molecules that don't have a paired electron around their nucleus and when they uh, have to be neutralized that's done by antioxidants. Well, those antioxidants can't work unless they become activated by this redox signaling system. Redox signaling molecules are absolutely crucial to maintaining peak efficiency in cell function. It's all about homeostasis and balance, and what it does is allow your body to perform at its maximum, at its best level, by balancing things within the cellular level. This is a, a remarkable process because it is actually the process which allows us to regenerate tissue and maintain our health. Well, I see it doesn't cure anything, but it doesn't go into your cells that aren't functioning properly and enable them to work better. As we age, we just don't produce enough of these molecules to maintain balance in our body. A C is providing that. What I believe is groundbreaking is that we've been able to stabilize and uh, certain mixtures of redox signaling molecules so that they can be effectively stored outside the body. The beauty of a C is that it helps support the cell so well that one doesn't have to take as many other supplements and you just take less supplements and get the same result because the cell is so much more efficient. It enables you to go into your cells, repair whatever cell damage has been done, make them work better, and then if you add exercise and diet onto that, you'll be even healthier. Everything started making sense. I started connecting the dots. Yeah, I wanted to use this product because at the age of 55, my cell efficiency has, has, has dwindled. I was curious to see what my body would be capable of doing. And um, because it occurred to me that hey, why not? Especially if I'm going to have an interest in per perhaps sharing this with others, I need to be able to say how this has helped me. I also noticed when I was working out a more significant amount of energy and, and longer endurance. And I really felt like I was 20, 25 years younger. It was incredible. I found that I experienced uh, increased mental clarity, increased energy. One of the great benefits that redox signaling can have to, to for us is that it helps accelerate and maintain healthy tissue. I am so excited about this new awareness, this new paradigm of, of what we can do to, with our health. I feel very confident giving this to all of my patients. Uh, it's something that they need, it's something that their cells lack, and we're just restoring it because it is native to the body. It's already there, just not enough of it. Every patient that I see I share a SIA with and my story, my experience with a SIA. This technology has the potential of spearheading some of the greatest advances of health in the world. Well, I think the thing I like about a SIA is, is it's very scientifically backed. So just in the same way your mom used to try and you know give you something that you really would need to help you get well, a SIA is providing uh, a balance uh, just like your mom's chicken noodle soup. The possibility of being able to stabilize redox signaling molecules and use them as bioactive, non-toxic agents inside our body is phenomenal. And um, it will make a difference and it will be the future technology that will affect almost all areas of health science and well-being.